Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on how to lay your wig the right way. Okay, so here's the thing. I literally just started wearing wigs and Alyssa Forever is like my inspiration. She makes wigs look so natural and maybe because I just love her. <laughs> she inspired me to create this video because I I learned from her for one and I also wanted to show you guys like my way of doing it. The method is very similar to mine but I, um, I didn't really do that much that she did. I just... I'll, I'll show you guys. So if you guys are interested in watching this video, just continue watching. Okay, so first thing you're going to need is a concealer. I'm using the LA Pro Conceal in Cool Tan. You want to get a concealer that is for scalp complexion. Now, a lot of like lace front wigs, which is what I'm going to be demonstrating with today. Because you need to have a part in the wig. So a lot of lace front wigs or like closures, the lace usually is like darker than your actual scalp color. So that's why it becomes noticeable when you're wearing lace front wigs or if you're wearing closures or frontals or anything like that with lace. A silk lace closure is a little bit more, more believable I would say. And I'm just going to put a picture of a lace versus a silk base right here. So you guys can tell like the silk base is a little bit more um, scalp like and a little bit more real and then you have the lace which is a little bit more de detectable to, to deemed fake. Now I'm going to show you guys what this part looks like. This is what the part looks like. Okay. And if you wanted to bring it a little bit to the front it will look a little bit more believable that way now I'm gonna show you guys oh. wow this is what it looks like underneath so underneath I have like braids and I have them coming back I have about like five or six and my friend Coben she actually braided it for me shout out to you Coben and I left my baby hairs out and I had her part the middle of my hair, the middle of my head and start the braids this way so I'll have a part in the middle. And this is how my part looks in the middle. I put on, so I put on the cap on my head and I line it up with the part. You want to make sure you have a wig cap on because you want to protect your real hair. And I line it up with the part so that when you are looking at it up close, you can't really tell, or even far away, like you can't really tell if it's your part or if it's a fake part because it starts with the real part. So you don't really like question it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a little catfish, but it's okay. <laughs> the key thing is you want to make sure that your part is wide enough to where it looks believable because some parts are very thin and they come off looking very fake so you want to make sure that it's like wide enough to be a realistic part so what you want to do in order to get your lace front looking natural and real that's the key you want to make sure you have a concealer and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be using the concealer for today this concealer it's a good thing because it has like a little bristle right and with this little bristle, I'm going to use it to dab a little bit at a time, starting from the front of my part. I want you guys to be able to see everything. A little bit at a time, not too much product, and just dab it on the part. Oops. All the way. And because it's a lace closure, you're, all you have to do is just tap your finger, literally just tap your finger on the part to take off whatever excess is on your finger and boom. Literally. Boom. And if you want to take it an extra further step, do your little baby hairs. I use my Gorilla Snot, which is not very healthy for your hair, but... It's the only thing that keeps my hair straight because I have very curly hair under this. 
and I use a toothbrush and all I do is literally just brush my little baby hairs like this and you just want to keep it in a swirling motion you know like a backwards s if that makes sense and you see how i have a little baby here right there so it look a little real right and i just keep doing the same thing with the rest of them you would never be able to tell this was in my hair mm -mm. i don't wear weaves anymore because for one they break my hair and I never get to like, you know, sleep without, the, like with the wig, you can sleep without it. You can alternate it, you can change it up. You can be a different girl every day of the week. You can literally just do whatever you want. You have a freedom, you're liberated when you have a wig. Like, I don't care what anyone thinks, like you, you're liberated. And I love the fact that I can like change my part whenever I want like with a weave if you don't have like a versatile sewing you can't do anything with it and it's boring like this looks better than any weave I've ever had huh okay so um you just want to continue with your baby hairs you know make them a little smooth and I got me a little frontal with my baby hair. <laughs> you can't tell this is a wig. This is amazing. I did this video like right before I was about to go to class. So I'm about to actually head out and go to class right now. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I literally filmed this video today. And I'm planning on uploading it tonight. So, um, yeah. If you guys have any, like, other techniques or anything that you guys want me to learn, then just, like, let me know down in the comments below. And I'll put all the links to this hair down below as well. And the closure and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah. Stay hydrated. It's hot outside for some reason. It is October 19th. Is it? Oh shoot. Yeah, it is. October 19th. My birthday is on Halloween. Yeah! Okay, I have to take this um thing off. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm doing all of this on camera. But <clears throat> why not? You know? Why not? Why can't I do this on camera? I you guys to like definitely, definitely in the comments below let me know like your methods of perfecting and finessing and styling and grooming and catfishing wigs because they're lit. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Chris Art. Love you guys.